what's it like to step on that field as the defending national champion, and what challenges does that pose to you guys? Um, I think the big thing is that we had a whole bunch of guys who were really anxious today, so we came out with some energy, even though it was kind of early. Um, we got a lot of young guys who were hungry, and I was talking to Darren Lee out there, and we were watching uh, you know, the twos take reps during team today, but he said you could just tell everybody's hungry. So uh, I think we're really excited, and we, we've got a good vibe. We're trying to carry some momentum. I think the big challenges are going to be just um, keeping everybody on track in terms of learning your assignments, making sure that we don't get comfortable or um, you know, this is, just doesn't seem too mundane. And then the other thing is going to be that we have a big target on our back, so we're going to have to take every rep, um, and it's going to be important to us to make sure that we're getting the most out of everything we do. You guys, the identity of the Silver Bowl identity, which you care so much about, at the end of the year you lived up to that. How good can this defense be in 2015? We'd be really good this year. Um, we got a lot of talented guys. Uh, we got a lot of guys who really care about each other and guys who are willing to play hard. I think that's a big thing. And so the, the thing for us is just going to be development moving forward. We've got all these practices, and it's a great time to get in and actually learn the game of football. Um, really learn what we're doing and also develop players so we can have some depth, we can have some experience, and we can be able to rock and roll. Front row, Todd. Josh, you mentioned that you guys have a target on your back. Last year, you guys played with a, a pretty big chip on your shoulder. After winning a national title, how do you keep that chip? How do you not get into a comfortable road and rest on your laurels? Um, because we know that people are always going to doubt us. So that's going to be a big thing for us. We know we got a target on our back and people are going to doubt us. So um, we still got something to prove every day we go out there. And also it's just a, a bit of a pride thing being here and knowing what we've done and then knowing the guys that we have that uh, we could be special this year. And, and uh, obviously the goal is to be able to compete for championships um, when we get to November. And so this is spring right now. We really can't even talk about that. We've got to find out what we have and we've got to keep developing. But um, just knowing that we have a chance to do something really special keeps us going. Yeah, Josh, so many players at the end of, the, of this past season with the number of games you had to play came off the field against Oregon thrilled but also beaten up mm -hmm. pretty big physically. How many guys do you think are still, even yourself, still getting over the last season while trying to turn forward physically, trying to get prepared for the new one? I think we did a really good job this offseason of being smart and taking care of our bodies. We implemented a little bit of a new recovery plan, so we're trying to get that rocking and rolling. Um, in terms of guys, I don't know uh, who's where and what they're doing, but I know the guys we have out there, we're just excited to go. Um, you know, guys were talking about how fresh they felt. I felt fresh today, and I felt ready to go. And so I think when you're anxious to get back on the field, a lot of that stuff goes away. If you have a, a nagging ache or a pain, you just want to get back out there. Front row left, Doug. Uh, Joshua, did you notice anything with Coach Meyer or the other coaches, any different thing with them now practicing as national champion? No, they just coach us hard all the time. So uh, that's the big thing is come out there with a lot of juice, a lot of energy. Um, they want to coach us really hard, and they want to put us in those situations where we have to kind of fight a little bit. Uh, they want to make sure we get the best out of everybody, and we want to develop young players and, and uh, make sure the older players know what they're doing and, and can have great leadership. And it's the grind instead of the chase now? Did you guys grind. vote on that? or where'd the grind No, happen? that's uh, Coach Meyer and Coach Marathi. The grind is uh, a lot of things. It's what our program's about. You sharpen, you shape, uh, you pulverize. It's a lot of friction, and so we like that. That's how you develop players, and that's how you get the best out of people. Front row, Tim. Uh, <laughs> last year, uh, spring ball, all of a sudden, Darren Lee runs out there, and we're all like, yeah. look, at least I was looking at myself <laughs> going, what? You know, and he turned out to be, who are a couple of guys that you've got your eye on that you think could rise uh, in that regard? Um, this spring and maybe early next year. It'll be interesting to watch. I think we've got so many talented guys, and uh, some of those guys in the wide receiver room on offense, the young players, uh, a couple of guys who redshirted last year, be really special. And I mean, those guys are just really fast, um, strong players. And so they've just, you, Paris and uh, Johnny, you know, he had that injury. And, and uh, Terry McLaurin could be a special player for us. Um, on defense, we've got that whole young D line. So Jalen Holmes and Sam Hubbard and you got Mike Hill and Donovan Munger, and we're looking forward. You know, Tommy Shutt's an older guy, but uh, he's been really good in the past and flashes, and so we're hoping for some consistency with him. Um, in terms of my room, I think we've got a lot of good guys. You'll see that Raekwon is definitely stepping up and embracing his role. He's more consistent. Dante Booker's a guy who's just a freak of nature, and I don't even know if he realizes it yet. So 
Um, we just got to keep bringing him along. And then the back end, we've got those young corners, you know, Dame and then and Gary on. He's so talented. And then you've got E. Smith, who I think is going to be a special player too. So uh, across the board, we just got a lot of guys that we want to develop and make sure that we can have some depth, but also they can step in and, and be really good players for us. Final two questions. Far left, Matt. Uh, got to ask you about Sunday. Where the dance, where did that uh, come from? How did that? Uh... You know, uh, they wanted to do something special. It was a big game. Uh, we had the wide out. And so um, Ryan Stamper, who used to play for Coach Meyer, works for the program now. He asked a few guys to get together. He said, you guys want to do a dance? And I was like, well, heck yeah. So, you know, we got together a couple of times during the week. We practiced for um, two hours each session. Uh, and it was just a really fun thing to do. I mean, guys were out there. We had a lot of fun. Aaron Perry was back there. They said he looked like the left shark from the Super Bowl halftime show. So that was awesome. Um, you know, Darren Lee in the front with that smile, obviously. And we just guys were having a great time. It was a great opportunity to support other sports, um, to get Ohio State brand out there. But, uh, you know, I think guys just really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. And last question, far left. Marty? Joshua, good morning. What's up? Uh, why would anybody doubt you? This is just the nature of the game and, and the nature of kind of being in a position that we're in. We're uh, one of those teams that's got a great tradition. We've, we've been good in the past. But, you know, there's always that little bit of doubt. People want to talk about maybe, um, you know, the Big Ten conferences, this or that or the other. And, uh, you know, can Ohio State really do it again? Maybe it was a fluke that all those players came together the way they did. Uh, you know, they had really good senior leadership, but those guys aren't here anymore and all the things that you're going to hear. So um, everybody's always going to have something to kind of, I guess, you know, contract what you're trying to do and, and, and oppose what you're trying to do. So you just have to be ready for that. Um, I love that part of the game, honestly, especially at a place like this where we know how good we can be. It gives you a little bit of extra energy. Um, you know, it, it wouldn't be as fun if everybody was just always cheering you on all the time. You kind of need those, those doubters to give you a little bit of that, that extra edge.